Well, to be a part of this power slab, I feel like I made it to the NFL. This is definitely the top tier of slap fighting, and I'm here for the long run. I'm the crazy Hawaiian. I'm the greatest slap fighter that I ever lived. I'm the real pioneer in the sport. I'll show everybody how it's done. I'm going to walk out of the apex tonight as the light heavyweight champion. I want to send the message that I'm ready for any and all challenger. Like, you want it, you can come and get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on. It's the biggest international fight week we have ever seen with Power Slap now on the docket. We have a title fight and two potential title eliminators on deck. Power Slap 3, Hits versus Wolverine, presented by Monster Energy, Unleash the Beast. If you didn't know, now you know Power Slap is here to stay. Hello again from the fight capital of the world. Dan Helley alongside the UFC Hall of Famer Michael Bisping. Four down to go the main card is here and this is where things get real my friend oh listen i can't wait for it as usual we've got some sensational matches here today the belt is back on the line aj hints returns still the champion going up against the legend ron the wolverine indeed let's take a look at the main card this is what is on deck dorian perez against dwayne crespo number one and number two heavyweight title contenders kicking things off Alan Klingbile could be next in line for the light heavyweight title. He can get by Austin Turpin if he does his job tonight. Hawaiian super heavyweights going at it on the ninth island here in Vegas. The crazy Hawaiian and Micah Sayuli. And in the main event, light heavyweight champ AJ Hintz defending his title against Wolverine. How about this? A special consideration for the main card fighters tonight. Kudo, Cop Kudo Popcorn will be signing each winner to an official brand ambassador deal for a year. Get pop at Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Wolverine won the heavyweight strap, and then he lost in his first title defense. He moves on down, and now he's trying to become the first fighter in power slap to win a title in two different divisions. He has to get past AJ Static Kids. And that is not going to be easy because let me tell you, this man is a hardcore maniac and he hits extremely hard. Worth mentioning again, the highest neck resistance. That means he can take a shot better than anybody else. However, we have a strange turn of events. Last time out against Russell Rivero, he lost the bout by knockout, but his opponent fouled, so he's still the champion. Wants to do it a little differently tonight. And you look at Wolverine, this guy is what AJ referred to as the best slap fighter on the planet. Yeah, and for good reason. He's incredibly experienced. On Power Slap 1, we saw him put to sleep the legend himself, Darius the Destroyer. He became the champion, but he's moved down to his natural weight class. He was never the biggest heavyweight. At the start, he was trying to bulk up, he was trying to get heavier, but that was just silly. So he's gone down now to 205 pounds, and we have a very interesting match in our hands here tonight. Here's a look at the light heavyweight striker rankings brought to you by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today. Hints the champ Wolverine, the number one contender. Kling Bile could move on up with a win tonight. Donovan Cross, Russell Rivero, and Vern Cathy round out your top 
five. Let's bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Charlie Arnold, for more on the first fight on the main card. Thank you so much, Dan. Yeah, we have a heavyweight showdown between two guys who have been around since the beginning, but it's Dorian Perez who enters with an undefeated record as he looks to stretch that to 5-0 and today. He said in May he joined a new gym that's open around the clock, and he has been taking full advantage, making major gains in his strength, size, and posture, and it has him walking around with his head held high. Last week marked the five-year anniversary of his father's death, which is just a little extra motivation as Perez enters the Power Slap Arena tonight. Now, Dwayne Crespo also says he is coming in at the next level. His strongman past has him getting back to his basics, which means squatting cars and, you know, picking up giant stones and whatnot, saying there is a mental advantage that comes along with this weird type of training that is similar to slap fighting. Crespo says his growth in power slap is only getting started, and he's ready to show the world tonight why he deserves to be in the title conversation. All right, Charlie, thank you very much. Here's a look at the heavyweight rankings. The Bell is still the champion. Dorian Perez, Dwayne Crespo, one and two. Austin Turpin moved down to light heavyweight. Ryan Phillips still trying to get healthy. And Darius Destroyer is number five. Are you ready? I hope you are, because here we go. No better way to kick things off in the main card than a couple of heavyweights. Dwayne Crespo will strike first after winning the coin toss. Crespo, a plus. 110 dog versus Perez. Rising heavyweight star Dorian Perez believes Dwayne Crespo is looking past him in tonight's matchup, and that's all the motivation disturbing the peace needs to bring the heat early and off. A quiet start to Dorian Perez's power slap career in 2022 has gotten a lot louder this year as the Californian soared to the number one contender spot in the heavyweight division on the strength of back-to-back -back wins over Frank the Tank Holland and Darius the Destroyer. Now Perez knows that one more win could land him a title shot, so expect to see his best when he takes on Dwayne Crespo. Equally impressive thus far in his power slap run, Crespo has knocked out Matt Strickland and Cody Cox, and as the number two man at heavyweight, he also believes a win tonight will get him a fight for the championship belt. Coming up next, Dorian, disturbing the peace Perez, squares off against Dwayne, the Iron Giant Crespo. These fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X World. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10xworld.com. He is the Iron Giant Dwayne Crespo coming in with a 3-1 record. The number two ranked heavyweight contender, a retired Marine who credits mixed martial arts with saving his life. And he's off to a great start in the Power Slap League. He lost his third fight, of course, to the champion, Damien DeBell, got knocked out in round two, but he rebounded with a first round knockout over Cody Cox. And then coming into this one, now he's taking it more and more serious all the time, working in on strengthening his neck, rolling with the shots, but of course being careful not to flinch at the same time. You know, it's interesting this one because his opponent, Dorian Perez, is kind of loud and proud. Dwayne Crespo says he is slightly on the autism radar, says he's very socially awkward at times. But I'll tell you, every time I've had a conversation with this guy, look at him. He's delightful. He's got a big smile. He's delightful. There's nothing awkward about this man at, at all. He is a full-time fighter and a coach. He's been kickboxing for the last eight years. He feels like that gives him a leg up in this competition, and he likes those early finishes. Two of his wins have come by first-round knockout. Oh, he's a character, isn't he? Dorian disturbing the peace. Perez, 4-0 and in power slaps. He recently joined a powerlifting gym and very focused on trying to get stronger as of late. Well, he's certainly doing that because, I mean, not just does he have a very mean look on his face, not only is he just a character, I mean, this man's a wild guy. He's lifting his car. He's trying to get strong, he has achieved that. It's on his Instagram, he's picking up his car from the back bumper, the car's 2,000 pounds, a 2,000 pound deadlift. It's pretty impressive there. Crespo apparently did a much bigger car. They got in an oh, argument really? about the press conference who was picking up a bigger car. So certainly they have some things to prove here tonight. He's now working security on the Mexican border south of San Diego. These men are ready to 
roll as we take a look at the tail of the tape for Dorian Perez and Dwayne Crespo. Our first match on the main card. Crespo three years older, one inch taller, and the reach nearly identical at 75 and a half to 75. Justin Bernard, let's get things going. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap Heavyweight Division. Introducing to you first, in the blue corner, holding a professional record of three wins, one loss. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in officially at 263 pounds. Out of Rochester, New York, he is the number two ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Dwayne Iron Giant Crespo. And in the red corner, holding an undefeated professional record of four wins, he stands six feet, one inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Out of San Isidro, California, he is the number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world. Dorian, disturbing the peace, Perez. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Smith, winner of the coin toss and striking first, Dwayne Crespo. Power Slap 2 is available for betting. Must be 21 years of age or older. Void where prohibited. Scan the QR code now to back. learn more or just contact your favorite local sports book. Gentlemen, to the center. All right, here we go. So Dwayne Crespo wins the toss. A slight yeah, underdog will get the chance to strike that. first. Chin up. Hold that See what kind of heat right, the Iron first, Giant brings to the table. Well, they're arguing over who's the strongest on Instagram. Right hand on three. Let's you see who can take the better shot. Perez has never been knocked out. Measure. Obviously undefeated, but he's taking a lot of shots. Yeah, I was going to say 4-0, undefeated. Street Beefs, heavyweight champion. Measuring nicely, Crespo. Look at that. Look at the speed. Look at Two. the smile as well on Perez. <laughs> wow. He hits him with the stick. Come on, that's no, awesome. Hey, wait, don't do that's that. brilliant. Because that no. was a hell of a block. Delivered no, with a lot recover. of power Good. on target. Perez took it like a man and smiled right back at him, laughed, and even had a little joke with the stick. They don't like Perez is Mark Smith. a serious man. Mark, Mark, Mark Smith didn't like the stick. Ah, it's, come on. It's fun and games, but I get it. He's an official. Don't get too rowdy because they're asking me to keep control. Good, clean shot. Wasting but it looked like chin he up. flinched, tucked the 25 chin. 25 seconds. Well, chin up. got away with it if he did. Put did. Chin out. Indeed, he Good. did. All right, in the box. Right on three. You got to get in the box. Recover. Right on three. Right hand on three. You must measure. Measure. Here's the measure. Looks like he's a little far away, maybe. Four and out. Wow. Worth noting, three of his victories. But by way of decision. Oh. Clubbing. Oh man, come on, Dorian. Foul, clubbing. We got two minutes. Every time I, I feel like we say the same thing every every match. Step up. So let's take another look here. I mean, that was clearly high. The base of the hand is landing on the earlobe. Clubbing. Yeah, it, it was One way point, back, clubbing. but I gotta say, it looked One like point, a clubbing. little bit of a flinch as well. It well, and he's he's leading with the he's wrist with the wrist. Yep. And that's a distinct advantage. That's how you're really knocking guys oh, out. Oh, for sure. Looks yeah, like he got caught in the eye oh, earlier. Good. Do we need to talk to a doctor? No, we perfect. Okay. Like the Thank you. you Here, Dorian. Two minutes to recover after the foul. over top of it. I know, but I can only get the stuff on your eye. Yes. Thank you. Got to talk it in. About halfway through the recovery time here. And here's your round one scorecard. Yeah, yes, sir. Crespo talking to the heavyweight right. champ and his there. coach on this night, You're Damian DeBell. All right, recover. Right hand on three. You must measure. Measure. The Iron Giant looking to lay the wood. One. Nice and slow, taking his time. Two. Wait for it. Oh, 
he I leaned into it. He, he tucked his, he tucked yeah. his chin. Which is defined as flinching. You're right. You're absolutely right. You he, did, he, de it. he definitely leaned in. He tucked his Dwayne. chin without you know, question. Here's another look. Yeah, right there. Dorian. Yeah. Right there. He's got a strike again. I'll He's be got honest. A strike again. It wasn't the best strike either. He did close his eyes, which is what he just said. Cresco didn't generate too much power. There was no need eyes. to do I'm that. Just closing my eyes so it doesn't hit me in the eye. You can clinch, but you can't clinch. All right. All right. Right on three. Right hand on three. You, you must measure. clinch, yeah. but you can't flinch. I, like I think it means clinch. Clinch. Yeah, yeah. clinch. Measure. Thank you. We're not up against the octagon cage. One. You better hit me hard, motherfucker. Two. Let's go. Hit me hard. Come on. Oh, look at the eyes start to swell up there. It's swelling up, but Dorian Perez is still very much in this. Oh, absolutely. He Come took on. that. That was nothing to him. Time. Doctor. Give me my fucking nose. I'm not moving. I promise. I'm not moving. My I'm fucking nose. I'm not looking at you. I mean, that eye swelled up quite dramatically. Sure is. Oh, he oh, did. Yeah, no, he did. He is. You're right. He's clinching for I sure. didn't even see that one. I did not see that one either. It happened so quickly in real time. But look how high that was. I can see that giant mouse on his eye, though. It's a flinch and a club. That's wet and good. Now, because that's that so swollen. I'm saying that you oh, shouldn't even be hitting that. That's because he's dipping his head. That's right. because he's clinching. And that's why it was so, so, so Sorry, oh. flinching. Yes. Good. See, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I let you say Flinching and flinching. That's your three. fault, Dan. Right on three. Right on three. Look Stand at the by. blood Talk. dripping from his nose. I'm good. I'm good. You're not looking too good. Well, he wants Look his. at this. He right. wants this. Oh, oh yeah, no, he does. Right hand on, yes. Right hand on three. Right hand on three. Measure. He could lay him down here. I'm telling you, he's, he's a, pissed off. He's a little far One. away, though. Yeah, I said the same thing. Two. Correct. He'll be all right. Oh, he gave it all to him. Step. Step. And Crespo said, I'm good. That was my nose. Right Crespo right. tugged out like it was nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That was a walk in the park. Yeah. Okay. Good slap. Stand by. I think they want to clean him up a little three? bit. No, they're looking yeah, at replay. Yeah, that was oh, fine. You're good. The feet are clean. We have a well. foul. Stepping. It was a late, late yeah, pivot. It, it was late. One point. Stepping. Jacob, one point. Stepping. Yeah, but hold on. Didn't he? One point. Stepping. I, I feel kind like of pivot after the I, blow was landed. I feel like it was so far after. That is. I don't right now. That. I disagree. Because there was no, okay. there's no advantage there with the pivot. Let's Nothing. The pivot came, came after the Let's impact, go. so therefore it makes no difference whatsoever. Let's look Watch again. Clean, clean, all clean. All the way. Hold it. Holds it. Holds it. Okay. Then it comes. So it's like. Well, then it's, it, it's like when you again. swing a shot. You swing a, a right hook or something, and then you miss. Well, if you miss, then you can kind of go off target. But we're swinging through the opponent's head, so therefore the momentum causes you to move a little bit. Right hand, but the blow has three. already connected. I disagree. There's going to be some blood splatter here. I love the wind up of the Iron Giant. Two. <laughs> oh, he staggered him just a little bit. And you get nice to smile. From behind all that blood. He can smile all he wants, though. So far on the scorecards, it is not going well. 10-8, two, hey, two hey, rounds. Hey. I'm a big fan of Dorian Perez. I love right what he brings to the table. To I love the attitude. I love the character. I love the performances that he's put on so far. But tonight is not his night. Here's what you have to remember about the Iron Giant, Dwayne Crespo. He has one loss, right? and that's to the heavyweight seconds. champ, Damian DeBell. One However, three. Dorian Perez has never lost hand count. going into right tonight. Right, hand right now, he's three. down big Measure. time, needs a knockout in round three. I was going to say, he's going to pull it out the back here. He's going to get the knockout, going to go for broke. I'll bleed all the way to the victory. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy. And we see some blood now from the nose of Dwayne Crespo. Blood, blood, high five. <laughs> These guys are maniacs. Oh, fuck y'all. Wow. 
fucking beer! Where's my beer? I don't blame him. I think he earned one. Yeah. But here's a look at the scorecard. I mean, there it is. I mean, clearly that last round, that was the best slap of the match by Dorian Perez. So that gets him round three. But before that, the, the flinching fouls, fouls are a killer. The We've flinching. seen it with a couple of guys tonight. One of the rounds, though, we disagree. We think the referee made a mistake, but it is what it is. But let's take a look at that final shot by Perez. Oof. Crespo took it well, stayed on the feet. He a lesser it. man would have gone down. He did a nice job there. You could see the minor heel lift, which we've touched on before. It's just fine. But these are two, these are two studs right here in the heavyweight division. One of them going to be fighting for a title, and the other could be. Oh God! Look at the blood, the snot stream coming out of his nose. I mean, if you think about it. It shows you how good Damien DeBell, who's up on stage right now as a coach, is, who absolutely smoked yeah. the Iron Giant, Dwayne Crespo, knocked him out in the second round. Well, Steve from the Nelt Boys has got his beer. Oh, no, here we go, Shotgun City. No, for Dorian Perez, I mean. I think he's going to throw it at him. Heads up. Yeah, here we go. Boom. Ah, uh, how about... Happy Dad Seltzer, friend of the program. Dorian Perez going to set it down so we can make things official. They're just trying to iron things out here. So that is the first loss for Dorian Perez. Yeah, of it course, will be. Yep. So far, it's not official, but he'll learn from that because he made a lot of mistakes. Well, and here's the thing. When you're in the moment and you're up there, he said, I, I promise you, I'm not flinching, is what he says to Mark Jones. When he goes back and he watches this, he's going to see it. Yeah, and it was slight, but when you, you slow it down, an obvious flinch. He doesn't realize he's doing it. It's not a conscious thing that he's doing, but it's just instincts. It's instincts. Somebody's trying to take your head off. You flinch a little bit. And even though it might be microscopic, it's still a foul. And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. And with that, we send it to our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored the contest 29-26 for the winner by unanimous decision, Dwayne the Iron Giant, Crespo. There we go. Looks like I got the uh, the score. Yeah, you did an amazing job. I don't know how you like, we're watching it. You're scoring the fight. Oh, a man of many talents. Many really talents. remarkable. That's what people always say. So many talents. Dwayne Crespo improves to four and one and earns a likely title shot in the very, very near future. I would imagine that's gonna be coming this year against the Bell, Damian DeBell. And you can hear him just say, the dude's head is hard. <laughs> you have to love the gamesmanship from Dorian Perez experiencing a loss for the first time in See, his career. That was high. The little finger went over his eye there. So I think, to be fair, Crespo, you know, might've got away with some foul blows as well, but still. It only in the past, it was a great performance. Both men oozing some blood by the end of it. Great chins on display. A lot of power generated from both men. And nice sportsmanship as well. Let's send it now to Charlie Arnold with Dwayne Crespo. Yeah, guys, thank you here with the winner, Dwayne Crespo. How does it feel to hand your opponent, Dorian Perez, his very first loss in power slap? It feels, it feels so amazing. I'm the number one contender now. I get that fight back that I've been working for all this time. How would you evaluate your performance? I would say I did a uh, pretty amazing. I'm a pretty accurate guy. Uh, I will have to give credit. That's the hardest head I've ever hit, and it's the hardest I've ever been hit. So that guy is a monster. Yeah, is your, your face feeling okay? I know we saw some blood flying, a lot of blood flying. Oh, my face feels fine. It's just the worst it's been. Uh, not too bad, but my hand, his head is definitely hard-headed. Well, you said coming in here, you wanted to prove why you deserve to be in the title conversation. You did just that. But the question is, how will you feel knowing that it's your coach 
you're going to have to face for that title? Uh, he's such a, the bell is such a good friend of mine. Uh, ever since I lost to him, I decided to go uh, train with him, get some knowledge and help him with some stuff as well. So we got this bond going, uh, but the best in the world got to fight the best in the world. So that's exactly what I want. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Guys, back to you. <laughs> the best in the world got to fight the best in the world. Thank you, Charlie. Power Slap continues to look for some of the best fighters in the world, including for cast members on the next season of Power Slap Road to the title. Slap fighters can apply. It's pretty easy. Just go to powerslap.com slash casting. Power Slap 3 is brought to you by HydroxyCut Hardcore, the official weight loss supplement partner of Power Slap. Hardcore energy, hardcore focus, hardcore weight loss, hardcore results. Innovation refunds, fighting for America's small businesses every day. And Power Slap 3 is available for betting. Must be 21 years of age or older, void where prohibited. Scan the QR code now to learn more or contact your favorite sports book. Power Slap 3 is brought to you by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast. Oh, we do have a good one coming up. Alan Klingbeil and Austin Turp Turpin. It is a pick 'em. One of Power Slap's breakout stars of 2023, Alan Klingbeil, is rapidly closing in on a world title shot. But fellow unbeaten Austin Turpin has every intention of leaving Las Vegas with his hand raised. A Texas native who speaks softly and carries a big slap, Alan Klingbeil came out of nowhere to secure back-to-back -back oh. wins over Joseph Landman and Vern Cathy that landed him in the number two spot of the Power Slap light heavyweight rankings and put him on tonight's main card against Austin Turpin. Determined to put an end to his opponent's hot streak with the power and grit that earned him victories over Cody Cox and Brian Dozier, Turpin has been waiting for his time to shine and that time has arrived in a pivotal showdown that could immediately put the winner in the title hunt. Coming up next, Alan, the Kryptonian Klingbile, meets Austin, Herp Daddy Slim Turpin. These fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com. Loves being in front of a crowd, does Austin Turpin. This man is quite the character, brings a 2-0 record in power slap into the night. The Jacksonville native has completely changed his lifestyle and dedicated it to power slap. This guy's my favorite. I love it every single time, the energy that he brings, the show that he puts on. And as you just said there, he credits power slap. Yeah, completely changed his life. He's quit his job. He said, the kind of job I had before, I can go and get that anytime. I want to make the most of this. I want to take this opportunity. Before he was 260 pounds, now he's down to 205. Credits all real food, no junk food. He stopped eating all the crap, basically. He's working out two, three times a day. He's going to the cryotherapy. He's using the sauna. He's taking care of his body. He's training full time. I mean, this is what is kind of a lifestyle change is available to these people. And it's a common theme that we've seen when we speak to these people. They are losing weight, they're getting stronger, they're feeling healthier because they have an opportunity at their fingertips. And of course, they've got what it takes to compete in this. They can give a shot, they can take a shot, but this man can also put on a show. And this is his introduction to the Rumble audience. He's had two matches on Power Slap, but has never been on the prelims or the main card. 
This guy packs a punch. He looks nice. He's yep. an IT specialist. Yep. Probably wears a tie to work every day in khakis, but he's a killer, undefeated. And the confidence is growing after that second round TA, TO against or KO against Vernon Cathy, Charlie. I mean, just look at the contrast of how Alan Klingbeil walked out versus his opponent, Alan Turpin. I mean, this is such a stark contrast, but it's what we're used to seeing. And Alan really has all the reason to have this confidence because he did something recently no one has done before, and that is beat Vernon Cathy by TKO at Power Slap 2. So Alan has been hitting the weight room since we last saw him. He upped his bench press by 40 pounds. He's been pairing that weight training with some cardio. And now he says his goal in his workouts is to push himself to the point where he gets really dizzy, so he gets mental fatigue. And he says that's something that can be present on the power slap stage and something he's certain that will help him to push through the later rounds if need be. But he told me yesterday, guys, his goal is to end it early with trash talking Turpin laying flat on the ground. Been friends with Austin for a while. They started on power slap at the same time. Cut off all communication. All right, tail of the tape for Allen Klingbeil and Austin Turpin, even Steven. It is a minus 115 pick and four, both of them. Klingbeil, the older man, two inches taller and has a one inch reach advantage. Very much looking forward to this one. Justin Bernard going to get things going. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing to you first, in the blue corner, Holding a professional record of two wins, zero losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Out of Jacksonville, Florida, Austin Turp, Daddy Slim Turpin. And in the red corner, holding a professional record of two wins, zero losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall. Weighing in at 201 half pounds. Out of Bernie, Texas, he is a number two ranked light heavyweight contender in the world. Allen, the Kryptonian Klingbile. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Allen Klingbile. Innovation refunds, fighting for America's small businesses each and every day. Woo! All right, gentlemen, here we go. That's what you work for right here. Here we go, man. So um, Alan Klingbeil going first, won the toss. Set. Okay, be and both of these men okay. coming in Hand undefeated. <laughs> Look at Turpin. I mean, this man's right out of his mind three. in the best right way possible. Three. I've spoken to him Most outside the it. apex. I've spoken to him outside of a power slap realm. He's a nice guy, but he turns it on in moments like this. He's he perfect. A, He's built for this. He doesn't have a neck. That's your measure. Look at ah. that. He's a turpin. Turn it. I mean, he's just shaking. Oh, one, oh, oh look at that. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That a little quick down. draw. That was like. We haven't seen that before. We have not seen that before. Turpin with the new techniques. He's a trailblazer. I like that. Sorry, Klingbeil with the two techniques. Yes, sir! Look at this. Look at it. Bum, bum, bum. It's, it's like, like punching. He's, he's cocking a shotgun. It's like he's punching a little bit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then at the last minute, turning it into a rotation. Well, that was a rotation for sure, but those first two looked like one. straight palm strikes. Kerry Hatley looked like he was trying to figure out exactly what was going on. Looked a little confused. That was interesting. We were confused. Turp Daddy Slim taking his time. Turp Daddy Slim. Here we go. Okay, hand and count. Right on three. Right on right three. three. Right on three. Let's go. He trains every day. It's all he does. Quit his job. Measure. Training full time. This is his life. One. Look at clean by. Look at Two. the look. Shake it. He's trying to get up. <laughs> Austin Turpin is already celebrating. Seven. Fornicating. Oh my God. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, oh my God. God. Dorfus man is incredible. <laughs> I'm telling you. Picks up the referee, humps the ground, knocks out Alan Klingbeil in one.
I get it. I get why you love him. He's I love him, but I love him more now. Ah. He's a freaking lunatic. He's a lunatic in the best possible way. Look at it. The nutcase. Everyone loves it. They're all on the feet, and this is what they came to see. Tonight's Monster Knockouts are brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. Let's take a look at this. Oh, Oosh. God, spit goes flying. Turpin said, Klingbile has his head in the cloud. I'm going to knock it off and leave it up there. That's what he said this week. That's pretty much what he did. He wasn't wrong. The first person to beat Alan Klingbile. Klingbile, Klingbile was kind of a cyborg, man. Nobody's done this to him before. Nobody's done that. Oh, look God. at Turpin, look at him. It just never ends. <laughs> the showmanship, he's out of his mind. Look, would I want him to marry my daughter? No. No, I wouldn't. Do I want to watch him slap people every weekend? Yes. Would you have a beer with him? 100%. Yes, of course you would. Would I want him by my side? Yes. If the SH1T hit the fan? <laughs> Come on. Listen, he is all in. And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get popped with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Gary Hadley liked that one. Look at the smile on his face. Let's send it to Justin Ladies, Bernard to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, ah. referee Kerry Hatley calls a stop to the match in round number one, declaring the winner by TKO. Austin Turp Daddy Slim Turpin! Let's go! Bring this babe to the south! Ah! Oh. Woo! Let's go! Come on, baby! Turp Daddy yeah. Slim never ah. stops performing. You know he's Woo. been going to bed every night for the last month since he last fought on May 24th, just thinking about this moment, dreaming about this moment. Well, he said that hard work pays off. And we can see the difference. I mean, look at it. Listen, the light heavyweight title is on the line tonight. Austin Turpin could be one of the next in line. Oh! Oof! Listen to that. As you said before, that's like a gun shot. It is. It's crazy. When you're, when you're here live, it's just different. It hits different. It feels different. I'm not too sure anybody can take that kind of punishment. Pumping it up. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. Six, seven, Why not? Eight. Typical Vegas eight. behavior. Yeah, not the we're first time somebody's done that here. No, you're, Let's you're send it to Charlie ready. Arnold with our winner. Hopefully he, he, he no, keeps it clean. Take it away, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with probably the most entertaining man in all of Power Slap, Austin Turpin. Also, one of the most talented, it seems. Two straight finishes for you, moving your record to 3-0. and How good are you feeling right now? Oh, I feel like a million bucks. Better than a million. I, I feel like a, like a superstar right now. I mean, I, I put in the hard work. I got my mind right. I'm doing what it takes, though. So it's not like you can just walk up there and anybody can do it. You, can put the, you gotta put in the hard work. And that's what I did. All this time off since last time you seen me, I've been working my ass off. Did you feel like you were going to have such a strong showing like you did? Could you feel it the whole time? Yeah, you damn right. Every time. That's how it's going to happen every time. One and done. I got that technique dialed in. I, I, I started off fresh. Fresh as can be. New to this. You know, but I'm fucking putting in the work. And ain't nothing going to stop me from getting what I, I know I, I deserve and what's mine. I'm going to get that fucking belt. And I'm going to reign with that motherfucker. That's it. I, just, I love it, baby. Come on. Get popped! Woo! Anything else you want to add? I know you're an intense guy from the second you walked out to the second you walked off. Anything else you want to talk about as far as your future here in Power Slap? Who, who, who's going for that belt in my division right now, light heavyweight, huh? Who is that? It's, uh, who is it? Yeah, who is it? The champion you're talking. Yeah, the champion. Um, we got, uh... He's, he's a headbanger. Who is, oh, oh yeah. Uh, AJ Hens. AJ, okay, yeah. The dead battery, that guy. See, I, I can't, he's so, he's so boring, I can't never, I don't remember him. Yeah, the dead battery, I'd love to spark him out or, or even, you know, the bearded bitch. You don't like when I call him that, but it ain't about what you like, Bubba. This is my motherfucking, this is my fucking game. And you're the bearded bitch and I'm fucking Turp Daddy Slim. So whoever, which one of y'all's got that fucking belt? Oh, 
I want it. That's all I want is that fucking belt. I want the big bay checks. I want some fucking money. That's what I want. I want a big old fucking rubber band of money, baby. Come on! Well, congratulations. Never please lose that energy. We love to see it. Guys, back to you. <laughs> Dude, how about Hall of Famers Don Fry and Mark Coleman in the house? Legends. A lot of names here. Donald Cerrone went Ooh. into the Hall of Fame last night. Legend. Here as well. He did promise us that he would never be participating in Slap Fighting, but he loves what he is seeing here tonight. The fans have been enjoying it. We have been enjoying it. We have had some unbelievable knockouts, perhaps none as good as this one. Terp, that is slim putting on a show. It was so good that Kerry Hatley even loved the knockout. He was smiling up there on stage, baby. I mean, Austin Terp, he brings the kind of energy that only guys like you have, this big. Terp Daddy Slim, he's the main man. He's the biggest star in Power Slap right now. He's not a champion, but he's one in the making. He's the people's champion is what it is. I'm telling you, he lights up the room. Everyone's waiting for his fights, from the, the performances to the celebration, the post-fight speech, and he's absolutely right. He's doing this through hard work. This is not just something you just pick up and put down. Cowboy getting into it. The big fella's on the way. The crazy Hawaiian has been waiting to make his promotional debut since before Ooh. Power Slap even began, honing his skills on the regional scene and recruiting other Hawaiian big men into the sport along the way, like his opponent tonight. Micah Sayuli, these two went to high school together. They went to elementary school together. And now one of them will be one step closer to becoming Power Slap's first ever super heavyweight champ. Friends turn foes, locking horns. Next on Power Slap 3. Two main card matches down and two to go. And this co-main event presented by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. It is our one and our only super heavyweight match on the card featuring the highly anticipated debut of the crazy Hawaiian. The coin toss matters a little more for the big fellas and for Micah Sayuli. It's an advantage he will gladly take. The man they call uncle wins the toss and will slap first. One of the pioneers of slap fighting makes his long-awaited debut on the Power Slap stage. As the crazy Hawaiian faces off against Micah Sayuli in a super heavyweight clash, destined for shockwaves. I'm ready to perform and show everybody who the crazy Hawaiian is, the true pioneer in the sport. When I'm on that stage, I fear nobody. I fear nothing. No one can stop me, no matter what. I want to be the first ever super heavyweight Power Slap champion. When I got the call from Power Slap, I couldn't show up. My younger brother, a Hawaiian hitman, he stepped into my place, took care of business. Oh, that's it! Me and my brother are similar, but you know, I got that dog. I think I'll go down as the greatest of all time. I think I'll go down as the first Hall of Famer. I think I'll go down as the Slap King. We need an event in Hawaii. The fans will come and the fans will bring it. You see all the crazy horns. Three! 
Michael just originated from Hawaii. I just looked over everybody and cared for everybody. Family definitely is my core. My introduction to stop fighting was from a close friend of mine known as the Crazy Hawaiian. Being on that stage with that crowd, it was just electrifying. I have the gym, the bar, the body for this. I am the definition of a super heavyweight. I see myself as a silent assassin. I let my hand do the talking. To prove worthy of this belt, I'd have to get that win. I do love and respect this guy, but I can put all that aside and I can unleash this power that I have and try to knock him out. He's never been hit the way I, I'll hit him. You won't have the chance to get back up. I'm gonna make a big statement here tonight. I'm gonna let everybody know that it doesn't matter who's in front of me. I got Micah's number already. I'm gonna knock him out. You're gonna see two big Polynesians on the biggest platform clashing it out. I'm gonna give him everything I got. These boys are big, man. Both of them 400 pounds. Here's Uncle Micah Seuli from Hawaii, currently living in Las Vegas. Charlie, coming out here with something to prove against a guy that he knows very, very well. Yeah, I really love the dynamic between these two guys. It's so interesting. They've been friends since grade school. And now Micah says it's time for him to get his revenge because, guys, listen to this. The crazy Hawaiian stole Micah's lunch ticket in ninth grade, he says, and he's still mad about it. But all jokes aside, it was Koa who introduced Micah to the slap fighting world to begin with, and he's been a mentor for a few years, helping Micah to get to a 2-0 record at this point. Micah told me in high school he once dreamed of getting to the NFL, but he couldn't feel more grateful to be here today because for him, power slap, now the equivalent of that childhood aspiration, which is so cool to hear. Well, the crazy Hawaiian might have taken his lunch money, but I don't think he's going hungry. <laughs> Let's be honest, 407 no, pounds, this man is packing serious power. Now, in terms of boxing, martial arts, done a little bit of that stuff, competed, nothing high level, works in the nightclub scene in Las Vegas, clearly as security, this man was built for that, as well as this, looking forward to this one, a nice, friendly rival. The crazy Hawaiian, very well known in the sport, coming in with a 13 and one slap record, making his debut on Power Slap. A lot of people in the industry very much looking forward to seeing him get here, the biggest stage in the sport. He is a minus 500 favorite here tonight. The one thing I think is the most interesting is his brother is here to watch, who fought on Power Slap too. One thing I think is most interesting is he's ambidextrous, and he was telling us he's not sure which hand he's going to slap with tonight. Yeah, he's considering using his left, even though he's right-handed, which I'm not quite sure I see the logic behind that. But still, never mind that. This man is very well known in the slap world. He's kind of a pioneer. He's one of the first guys involved in this. He's got a record of 13 and 1. He's been doing this for several years. He's promoted his own event. He actually promoted the first ever event, which Mika, his opponent, had his first ever bout on. So he's very deeply entrenched in this world, highly sought after by a lot of other promotions. But you know what? When you speak to both of these guys, very nice, humble guys. Of course, they're old school friends. They go all the way back to school, as Charlie said. And they've never had any beef. They've never had any fights. It's just a nice, friendly rivalry. But they're going to do everything in their power, which is a lot of power to knock each other out. You know, what I thought was interesting was the crazy Hawaiian, who has a lot of experience in boxing, says he would crush Micah in boxing. He said it's much more of a level playing field here in the Power Slap Arena. All right, a look at the tail of the tape now. Both men 33 years old. Sayuli is two inches taller. It's the crazy Hawaiian. Big favorite in this one with a one inch reach advantage for our co main event. Let's send it to our Power Slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co main event of the evening, presented by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. 
set for three rounds in the Power Slap Super Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 399 and one half pounds out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Nanakuli, Hawaii, Uncle Micah Sayuli. And in the red corner, he stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 402 pounds out of Springfield, Missouri, by way of Waianae, Hawaii, the crazy Hawaiian. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Uncle Micah Seuli. Rumble Bold and Free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. How close are these guys, you ask? Well, Micah lives here in Las Vegas currently. He's been here for about seven years. Anytime the crazy Hawaiian comes to town, it's uh, Sayuli who picks him up at the airport. I know, it's beautiful. Old school friends going to war for the oh, sake of Micah. competition, making money, becoming legendary in the slap world. Before I get set, I need your waist What's better than two? Best friends just slapping the shit out of each other. Well, that happens on occasion. <laughs> Certainly <laughs> after a few beers on a Saturday no night. No doubt. We've all been there, Mike. Uh, Dan, what am I saying? Right, you said? <laughs> right. I'm Mike. You're Mike. I'm oh, Ken. Nice okay, to meet thanks, you, my friend. Thanks, Dan. Nice to meet you, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. Hold Let me that look that at the size of these guys. All right, what's I mean, be just two 400-pounders <laughs> getting ready to throw down. On three? Yeah. He's going to go left on three. You must now, measure. we've seen guys like this before talking about slap for cash. Remember, right. a gigantic measure. guy, a big reputation, got put to sleep. I think it was the first blow. One, two, we go. Oh, oh, he rocked him. Man. That, I I mean, look at the smile. <laughs> look at that. I mean, come on, that was awesome. He played it perfectly. He almost went down, almost knocked out, and then he gives him an evil grin. Look at this. Ah, oh, that was hard. But then look, look, he's almost unconscious. But he kept his feet, he kept... and he wisely used the table to help yeah. him stay up. But at this point here, look, look, this is where he realizes, oh, now it's my, my turn. turn. Now I get to go. You should have seen the faces oh. of the fans here in the crowd. Yeah. I love that the clubbing. evil grin. Brilliant. Oh, they call it clubbing. You know, with One the point, beards, clubbing. it's a little harder to see where One it lands point, on the clubbing. face. I did point, suspect okay. oh. if it was a club. Seemed a little low. Okay. All right. Oh, the crazy Hawaiian. Look at him. You're in your He's, recovery time. Let me know when you're good. You He's doing the, minutes, okay? doing the dance right now. Stay in his on. mind, it's the knockout Stay dance. On. Are you good? All right, recover. Bare feet. For the crazy Hawaiian. Yeah, don't love it. Don't love it. What? Maybe we're wrong, though. I mean, this guy is a pioneer, as I said. 14 professional slap contests. A lot of experience. What's going to be your hand Well, the other thing, too, you got to remember, in a lot of these other promotions, they don't have the same rules about stepping, which has been difficult when these guys do this for the first time. So you want to watch the crazy Hawaiian's feet here. He's got a measure. Planted. That's a measure. Look at this. We got an extra catcher here. One. Helping force Griffin. Two. There we go. <laughs> Takes it. Oh, that was Takes it. nothing. That was not the best slap. Good slap. Uncle Micah just brushes that up. But remember, there was a penalty. Yep. Go we'll talk to your coach. So that's a 9-9. So it's going to be a 10-8 round. It looks yeah. kind of worse than it was in slow-mo, to be honest. I mean, yeah, the impact sound wasn't overly impressive, but still, regardless. And stay in this position, OK? All right, put it behind Yeah, the he back was rocked. Ready. Even though it was a club and it was a foul. Recover! He was hand. Yeah, you don't high. recover instantaneously yeah. from those. Left hand on three! Rocked. You must measure. 
that will affect your ability to land the wrong shots. That's amazing. One. And it'll also Two. affect your ability to take shots. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. That he just waves it off. There He's was, already talking to the crowd. No comparison to the first shot. We'll no comparison. Right. And I think what we saw no, there is because he's so consumed with not fouling, right. it's taken away, it's detracting from the amount of power that he's willing to throw with. No, I think that's a valid point. Set your position. Yeah, Set up. perfect placement. Yeah, clean contact. Right. People got to slow it down a little bit. You can't be as reckless. There wasn't a whole lot on that one. The crazy Hawaiian looking to make some noise Recover. here. Remember, he came in with a 13 and 1 record. Right hand on three. You must measure. Measure. Makes his living slap fighting. Doesn't do anything else. This is how he makes his living. It's pretty good living for him. Wide base here for the crazy Hawaiian. One. Two. Here we go. A little better. Good but Uncle Micah doesn't really budge. Uncle Micah doesn't move at all. It doesn't even look concerned. It doesn't look like it even bothers him. He's having a great time. He's like, I've been waiting all this time for this. I know, this is That's like what he does before he goes out and has a couple of beers. Here's a look at the scores. Because of the penalty, that 10-8 first round, Sayuli has a lot of work to do. Fighter set. Hand count. Left on three. All right, left on three. First you slap in round it. three. Sayuli probably Call needs a knockout three. here. He's going to have to get big, That's even bigger than he is. Well, he's going to use that weight. All 400 pounds. Two. Let's go. No. Not enough. So the crazy Hawaiian lands a clean slap here. He's going to win his power slap debut. I'll be honest, not really impressed with the power from Sayuli. I am very impressed with the way that he eats the shots, however. He's got a great chin because he's got a gigantic neck. I mean, look at the necks on these fellas. I know, chest up against it. I mean, they're clearly the generating a lot of power, but as I said, with the size right and the there, weight of them, you know, it does help absorb it. But uh, let's see how we end. Here we go. The crazy Hawaiian coming up. This is it. And unless the there's, left. In, unless there's a, left. a flinch, this left. is the last strike of the match. That's a mess. Oh, he's going left. Left. Yeah. No. So the interesting thing is when we talked to him about hitting with the left versus the right, he said he started boxing as a southpaw. So even though the right's been his moneymaker as of late, he has power in the left, but he looked a lot more powerful with his right. He did, because that shot there went straight through. He swung all the way through the target, but Sayuli didn't even move. The hand went through, but oh, let's take a look. Look. The head, I mean, all right, slow motion like that, it moves all over the place. But in real time, see, look, straight back to him. He didn't look overly affected or bothered. Yeah, see, look at that, real time. It's just like a quick snap, straight back, didn't wobble him. Feet firmly in place. Takes a good shot, that's for sure. It is interesting, when you look at the super heavyweights, and the heavyweights, there's not as many super heavyweights. And the, the power at times almost seems greater in the heavyweight division than for the super heavyweights. Yeah, no, it, it is. It's a curious thing, Mr. Helly. But as I say as well, because they're bigger guys with bigger necks, they're heavier, they can take a better shot, they can absorb it better. That's a good point. I mean, you talk about neck size, right? An average dude like you or me, size-wise, is like a 16 or 17-inch neck. These guys are probably 23, 24-inch necks when you're talking about dress shirt sizes. Let's go. That's but crazy. Speed is also a contributing factor to power. Maybe the speed isn't quite as fast. I think Maybe you're right. need to work on that side of things. Yeah. But I'm sure the weight that they have makes up for it. 
You can see Uncle Micah a little disappointed in his performance. And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Let's send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 30-26, 30-26, and 29-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, the Crazy Hawaiian. The Crazy Hawaiian gets a win against his buddy. They go back to elementary school years. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's really cool because tonight's Power Slap 3 is presented by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast. The main event, AJ hits Wolverine coming up next. We are excited to announce our next event, Power Slap 4, going to go down next month, right here from the Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. The date, Wednesday, August 9th, same time, same place, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, specifically Pacific, exclusively right here on Rumble.com. I'm sure many of tonight's competitors could be competing on that card and look out for the fight announcement in the days and weeks to come. And now we have reached the main event of the evening. This light heavyweight title match presented by Rumble. Bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. It's Hits versus Wolverine for the 205 pound crown. With no further ado, let's get this main event going. The champ won the coin toss and will strike first. And it's a title fight, so why not a pick -em? This one's gonna be good, my friends. Buckle up. He once ruled the Power Slap heavyweight division. Now Wolverine has moved south with the 205-pound title in his sights as he takes on champion AJ Hits. AJ Hits, ladies and gentlemen, 28 years old. This is one of the breakout stars in Power Slap. My last fight I had, Russell Rivero. It was a pretty hyped up rematch. It went not exactly the way I wanted it to. I knew he was gonna follow me. So Russell steps, and he closed me. What an upset! Jason Herzog is calling a foul. Foul for stepping. It's a disqualification. That's the rules. It felt really good defending my belt. It could have went better, but it's still a title defense. I see this fight with Wolverine as a redemption. When I got there, I'm gonna line up, I'm gonna find that button, I'm gonna smash that button. Oh, oh my god! Smash it! If I asked for the biggest and baddest in the sport and they delivered, they gave me Wolverine. I have to come out here, I have to perform. Like, I have to be the first one to knock him out. I want to send the message that I'm ready for any and all challenger. You want it, you can come and get it. Power Slap's first ever heavyweight champion, Wolverine Ron Beta. He slayed the dragon in Power Slap 1. The first person in 17 fights to beat Darius the Destroyer. My fight in May was against the Bell. It was a tough match. I ended up losing by decision. My initial thought afterwards was, um, yeah, it sucks losing. Everybody hates to lose. But now I get to go down to light heavyweight. That's where I wanted to go even before the Bell match. Being the new light heavyweight champion, it'll be great. It'll be a weight class that I want to be in, and I'll be the champion. Oh, no! Darius goes down! That's it! Wolverine takes it! My 
thoughts on competing against AJ? I think it's gonna match up pretty good, but I think I hit as hard as Russell does and I don't need to step. I'm gonna be uh, a little bit more aggressive than I was last time. I'm going to walk out of the apex as a light heavyweight champion. Even though I've already got the belt, I want to win this fight more than any of my other fights. I want to be the first person to put Wolverine to sleep. I am the real deal. I'm not here to play. I'm here to take over. I'm one of the best. Obviously, AJ's light heavyweight champion even defended it. So obviously, he's one of the best. I'm going to walk out of the apex tonight as the light heavyweight champion. He is Wolverine, Ron Beta, number one contender at light heavyweight, former heavyweight champ. He lost the belt to the bell. He had always planned on moving down, and now he is here looking to capture another title. Listen, he has provided some sensational matches. I mean, of course, he knocked out Darius the Destroyer, closed out that wildly. He's a man of few words, he's a country boy. He's loving the attention that he's getting. Still training very hard. He has a senior post in his garden. He smacks that 10, 15 times every day. He's using the money that he's generating from Power Slap. He's building a new house. He's going on fun trips, but he's still training every day with the resistance bands, with the weights. Taking this very, very seriously. You know, I like watching this man compete. The reality is, though, he was competing at the wrong weight class. Now, I mean, he was, he was a heavyweight. Sometimes, I guess Darius, in some of those earlier fights, he was like 205 pounds, which is the light heavyweight limit. He did go up to 230. Now he's back down to his proper weight class. He did have to cut a couple of pounds this week. No big deal. Feels strong. Feels still able to take a good shot and he's here ready to go from mountain home arkansas he is a good old country boy delivers lumber during the day says says it keeps him in great shape about six months ago he put on 20 pounds of muscle he's fit he's ready to go and he's trying to become the first fighter in power slap to win a title in two different divisions the fact that this is a pick -em, the fact that it's Wolverine and AJ, you couldn't ask for a better main event in Power Slap 3, and nobody is more ready than Wolverine. This guy is just unique. I don't know that there's anybody else in Power Slap like AJ Hintz was a skater and a headbanger growing up. He maintained his light heavyweight belt despite being put down by Russell Rivero of Power Slap 2. The fight was over. It seemed like Rivero won. He ended up being DQ'd for stepping. Hintz said, after that, I decided to train more. I decided to take it more seriously. It's gonna be interesting to see how the work he put in affects his ability here at the Power Slap table. And these guys have a lot in common. They're both incredibly hard hitters. They both take a really good shot. And they got a lot of respect for each other. He said, listen, Wolverine's strong. He's a great guy, I really respect him. He actually said, he's the best slap fighter in the world. 
but he ain't gonna hit me harder than what Russell Ribeiro did. Okay, so he knows what he's up against here. He knows that he's got his hands full. But what we've seen from AJ Hints every time, as we said before, the strongest neck resistance, that's absolutely crucial in terms of taking a shot and absorbing that damage. And we know the man can deliver a knockout right up there with the best of them. That's why he's the light heavyweight champion of the world. It's the champ against the number one contender, Hints versus Wolverine. Here's the tale of the tape. Wolverine, four years older. He's the taller man and has a four-inch reach advantage as well. It's a pick between champ number one contender, Justin Bernard, for our final match of the evening. This match is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Anthony A. Marnell III and Executive Director Jeff Mullen. Our judges stateside are Tim Cheatham, Sal Diamato, and Chris Miglior. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now about to witness the main event of the evening. From the Power Slap Arena and the millions watching live on Rumble, Brace! For impact, the power is on! This light heavyweight title match is five rounds and presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. Introducing first in the blue corner, holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands six feet, one inches tall weighing in officially at 205 pounds. Out of Mountain Home, Arkansas, he is the challenger, the former Power Slap Heavyweight Champion and the number one ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Wolverine! And in the red corner, holding a professional record of five wins, one loss. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 202 and one half pounds. Out of Adams, Wisconsin, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed power slap, light heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Stadhick Hintz. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, AJ Hintz. The champion won the toss. As you heard, he will be striking first. And there is serious knockout power in his hands. He has four knockouts. On the resume. And we've mentioned the next strength right before, hand but first right we're hand gonna on see two. him on the offense. Right hand on two. Well, Ron Bater could take a shot. Right Let's remember he two. got to round yeah, five against Damien DeBell at heavyweight. Right DeBell is one of the hardest hitters that we've ever seen in this sport. So AJ Hintz is gonna have a hard time taking him out in round one. One. But let's wait and see. <laughs> Going on two. Stepping foul, stepping, foul, stepping foul called on the champion. Not a good start. Let's take a look at the replay. Hey, sorry, bro. One point. I mean, that was very foul. slight. There it is. The it was the late it step. It and the then step after the blow landed, though. Yeah. Again. But it wasn't just after it landed, it was after the follow through, which I think is the differentiator. But nonetheless, stepping foul was called. One point was deducted. Time out, table. We've already taken a point. Yeah. So the point's been taken, no warning. Yeah. There's the neck force. Second strongest neck force on the card. Oh, they're saying it was a club. Don't rain though. You can touch. I'm not so clubbing and stepping. Do you need jump or you good? All right. 
He's lost a point either way. Right on three. Right on three. Keep your feet flat. Don't yep. give it as much as you can. All right, right on man. three. Good. Right country on strong. three. He's Time in. Country strong. And he's a much bigger man as well, naturally. Look at the wind up. There we go. Oh, God bless America. Fair blow. AJ has a chin of steel. He is a monster. He really is. That would have knocked 90 yeah, got me on my nose, I don't know if it's of light heavyweights out. No, no, I don't he didn't think so. Even flinch. His fingers. You didn't look good, though. You're good. Keep react. it up. Keep it up. Keep it clean. You good here? Good. Yep. Fighters ready? Come on, eat this one. What? Uh, That's the clock, right? Yeah, yeah defensively. Right on two. Yep, every time. That chin. Right on my two. Goodness. Feet in the box. Try to keep it flat. Right on two. All right, wide stance for the champ. Going on two. Where's my timer? Wolverine is stoic. One. I love the crowd. Oh, on two. Fair blow. Fair, Fair blow. blow. I don't remember him going on two before, but he's gone on two twice tonight. Fair blow, but no big deal. Yeah. Again, Wolverine eats it like a sandwich. No problem whatsoever. You got some time as well. If you want to so take the penalty was, was sure. huge, right? So Hintz loses okay, so round there. one. Yeah, the feet did not move at all yeah. on that one. So I'm just, right here. here. I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm just barely talking about it. I got you. We get him. Let's strike. One hand and one strike. Right, right on three. Feet flat. Right on three. On Wolverine from that club earlier. One. Two. He felt that one, that though. That stunned him. That one got through. That was a solid blow. AJ, why don't you come over here and get your AJ hand did well to uh, stay on the feet. Off a little bit. Yeah. All right, and so it's round two. Accumulation. Right. So you know what I'm saying? Fair blow. Hold on. Look. Wolverine might be the cleanest striker that we have you good, in sir? Power Slap. You good? Every time. I can't remember the last time Wolverine right got on called two. for a penalty. When you're ready, sir. No, he's clean. Right he's on powerful. Two. He's precise. Right on two. And he hurt AJ Hintz pretty significantly there. First two rounds have gone to Wolverine, by the way, with that penalty in the first and then a cleaner strike there in the second. But Without champ question. probably needs a knockout. Five rounds, though. Oh, good point. Let's remember that. Thank you. But as I was going to say a second ago, it's the accumulation. AJ takes the first, Why? the second, the third. The starting to affect him. I, nope. think, I think he lost some, some beard hairs on that one. Maybe a few brain cells as well. Just leaning Possibly. Right here. Just try to keep that to a minimum. Just beard touch. can do yeah, that, okay. too. Just, yeah, no yeah there it is. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, look yeah, at the yeah, hair just takes flying. the hair off. Good. Right three? Right three. Okay, right on three. You want to get in your spot? Thank you, sir. So, yeah, so keep an eye on this. Because ready? as I said, right he, he took the three. first one well. The right second one won three. With it. The third one, because of the accumulation. One. You never know. Two. Oh, no. oh. See the eyes? My goodness, they're I building up. You're touch, right. Touch, right. See it. Yeah. You good? I'm just going to say this. That's good. I think that's, oh, good. that's good. That's good. He's like, yeah, you got me there. We're going five rounds? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that it? Hey, is that it? I think Hans is still kind of getting his bearings right now. Uh, he hasn't moved. A little yeah, blood yeah. dripping out of the left side I'm of his look, mouth. The swelling, the look on the it's eyes. Okay. He's definitely a little Thank bewildered. You. Good. You know, it's right, good work. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah that was good. You ready? That one again, I pulled one out. Yeah. Thank you. Two Just more. Out for us, please. Two more shots. Where's the uh, right hand? I don't two. think he can right take Right on two. two. Right on two. There's your scorecard, Bisping. Clean sweep. Big lead for Wolverine thus far. Fans getting into it. It's, look at that, working on the rotation. He's trying to find the perfect place. Sweet spot. Yeah, he's like, there it is. Give I got you. Cheek mm -hmm. massage. One. Of the night. Finally, the stoic Wolverine reacts. Fair blow. You could tell he did not Fair like that. The there was a flash of lightning before his true. eyes. Fair here, not Let's There's take a look. Watch the beard. Look how far. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Hold your position. Hold your position. Hold your position. Was that the best strike? Get here, perfect. From the match. Sir, you're ready? Up the match. Right hand yeah, I on think three. So. Right I think hand so. On Wolverine's three. had a good one, but that might be. Right on three. One. Let's see the answer. Two. Oh, he's wobbled it for the first time. Well, he, I think he wobbled him last time, but that strike Third wasn't blow. as good as the last one. You want to come over here? We got a little bit of blood from your lip and some chalk. We're going to take off and let John help you. Let John help you a little. This is an absolute war for the light heavyweight title. Well, it took until round four until we actually got a reaction from Wolverine. Slowly but surely, the damage is piling up on the side of AJ Hintz, but he's still in this. Time. He took that one pretty well. I thought it was going to have more of an effect, to be honest. The calling in the doctor, we see the swelling, we see the blood. Let's see what the doctor the says. Yeah, he's making sure he can open the jaw. Here's that last one. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, he's good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very Time much, in. Sir. All right, you good? Let me wipe that shit off your fucking mouth. It's on the John the Machine Davis coaching up AJ Hintz. One champion helping another. Competitor ready. Clock and go! Can he hold on to the belt? Round five, it's the fifth and final round. He needs a knockout, most likely, to retain the belt. Getting low, working on that hip rotation. I tell you what, another shot like he delivered in round four. Might do it. It might do it, because the Wolverine, visibly affected, visibly shaken. And never been knocked out, had a 27 round fight before power slap with Darius the Destroyer. Wolverine Third shakes ball. it off. Well, he Can didn't we like it. I mean, that wasn't a fun yeah, experience for yeah. him, but yeah. he survived. He's on his feet. He's got one more shot. There's a potential that he could put AJ out because the damage has been building. It, but even if he doesn't, I think he still wins on the scorecards. He definitely still wins on the scorecards, I think. But it's going to be interesting to see if he wants to make a statement here and goes for the knockout blow, but you can't avoid a penalty. Yeah. A foul can make it closer than it needs to be. Nah, come on, man. In the spirit of power slap, we're going for knockouts down. We ain't playing this safe. He's ahead on the scorecards, but nobody likes that. Nobody likes somebody coasting. Judging, judging can be a little weird. Who knows? We're still in the infancy of this sport. So we're looking for the knockout. I mean, oh, he went for it. He, he went we for it. Go! I mean, hey, listen, let's be honest. We're going to the scorecards. The UFC's been going for 30 years, and judges still make the most ridiculous decisions we've ever seen. So this is not a given. What the fuck, the beta? 2 1 out. That was a hell of a title fight. I mean, we saw hits get better as it went on. He overcame that stepping foul early, but was it enough? I don't think so. I don't think so either. He, he improved as he went along, but he picked up some of the pace. He didn't catch up with it. Some of the slack, should I say. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Look at Forrest ready to go. Both of these guys have great chins. No matter the outcome of this, their chins are fantastic. Snot bubble, blood coming out. Ear gate just rolling around, That's fan reaction. And look at the crowd. And Dana White is walking up onto the power slap stage. One of these men will be awarded the light heavyweight title belt. And Bisping, yep. according to you, it's going to be Wolverine. Well, according to me, it's going to be the first ever Two weight division champion Wolverine back with a belt around his waist. And let me tell you something Wolverine's been in some main events. Wolverine's making some money now. Making great money. He really is. Making fantastic money. And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. And with that, we send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. 
The judges scored the contest 50-44, 50-44, and 49-45 for the winner by unanimous decision and new Power Slap Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Wolverine! And the crowd are on the feet. Wolverine, the first two division champion in Power Slap. The title reign of AJ Hintz is over, but this was a hell of a match. These two men putting on a pretty good show. Power Slap once again, never disappointing here at the UFC Apex. The good old boy from Mountain Home, Arkansas had the heavyweight title, now has the light heavyweight title. Wolverine going home as a champion once again. And the power transferred. I mean, it's incredible that he was able to have so much success. Knock out Darius, the destroyer, pardon me. You know, at a heavyweight, as a heavyweight, because he's, he's, he's not built for that weight class. Comes down to 205, which to be honest, it wasn't much of a weight cut anyway. Certainly the chin was there, the power was there, and he's taking that belt home. Good for him. And it couldn't happen to a better guy. I agree. He's such a nice, humble, normal, hardworking guy. Got a lot of great guys that are in Power Slap. It's true. You get to know him a little bit. You enjoy chatting with him, learning about their life. But he is as humble as it gets. And he is the light heavyweight champion of the world. He's with Charlie Arnold now. Yeah, guys, here with your new light heavyweight champion, Wolverine. You are certainly leaving your mark here in Power Slap, already having held two titles. How are you feeling right now? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, AJ gave me a, that was a hell of a match. I mean, I did not, you know, expect that from him. And, you know, my hat's off to him. He was a hell of a competitor. Well, you had said before that you expected AJ to be your biggest challenge to date. Do you still feel like he was? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he kept firing back and he kept taking shots and just, yeah, we just kept going back and forth. So, uh, yeah, he was a tough match. And as far as your performance, you are just so technically sound, possibly, I think, the most in all of Power Slap. How would you evaluate your performance? Uh, I, I don't think I could have done any better that time. I mean, it was a great match by me and a great match by AJ. And in your, your chin also. I mean, AJ was delivering, but you did not seem phased one bit. Uh, no, he got me a good couple times, but, yeah, um, uh, it, was, it was holding up good for me today. Okay, so now what's next? I mean, your resume is getting pretty full here. Former heavyweight champion, current light heavyweight champion. What's next for you here in Power Slap? Uh, next is to defend this belt uh, against either, um, you know, run it back with AJ again or whoever they got next in line. Well, congratulations. Very, very well-deserved Wolverine. Hey, thank you. Guys, back to you. Oh, yeah, he's ready to eat some of that popcorn, that post-fight interview brought to you by 10X World. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10xworld.com. Time now to check out our Slate Recovery. Tonight's Slate Recovery of the night brought to you by Slate Milk. Fuel up with Slate's delicious high-protein drinks. Slate makes you strong. Angel Rodriguez took some big shots uh -huh. from Amir Nuruddin. I mean, some huge... Huge shots. I mean, look at that. I mean, uh, Notre Dame landed hard. Look at the eyes. Look at the look on the face. But look at the return. Check this out. Boom. Sit down. Good night. Go home. I mean, huh. Recovery indeed for Azael Rodriguez. Improves to five and one. And there could be a title shot looming for him. All right, let's take a little listen now. It's real-time rewind, some of the most uh, earth-shattering slaps of the night. We've said it a hundred times. It sounds like a gunshot when you're here in person listening to these things. Real-time rewind? Let's listen to him again, shall we? Be my guest, or it would be my pleasure. Oh. Two. Oh. 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 That's disgusting. One, three, four. How about Isaiah Rodriguez? Oh. Jeez Louise. My God. Turp Daddy Slim. A star is born. I'm telling you. Uh, there it is. Let's go. Sir Hump a lot. 
Oh, power slap three. It never disappoints. Always fun. I, I, Turp Daddy Slim probably He's the man. Not my favorite. Turp Daddy Slim put that man in a title fight. He is entertainment personified. He's got the knockout power. He can take a shot. He's got the personality. I could watch that man all day, every day. And I'm you'd, telling you, he's you'd great. love to have a beer or 12 with him knowing you. Well, I'm a professional a, these yeah, days. You, are. you know what I mean? The Iron Giant, Dwayne Crespo, with a huge win as well. And listen, we have to talk about this main event. Wolverine, the fact that we're only three events in to the existence of Power Slap, and he's already been the heavyweight champ and the light heavyweight champ. How impressive is that? It's very impressive, but it's not surprising when you talk to the man, you see how disciplined he is, the way that he lives his life. The fact that now he's at his correct weight class, still training very hard, lives a very humble, basic lifestyle, you know, trains every single day, does a hard job for a living, training every day and night, you know, as well as being a family man. You know, he's a very busy man, but he loves this. He loves the attention that he gives him. And he also loves the lifestyle now that he can give to his family. As you said before, they're making some real good money out of this. Three kids, Bailey, Ronnie, and Kalen, all back in Mountain Home, Arkansas, watching Daddy bring home the bacon. All these paychecks, and by the way, they're substantial. He's using it to add onto his house, so they're giving him, hey, Dad. Oh, keep, hey, they're proud home, right man. now. Keep they are very home. proud. Because let me tell you, dude, beating AJ Hintz, not an easy thing to do. He's very experienced. He can take a shot and he knocks people out. And there was a couple of times there he wobbled the Wolverine towards the end. I'll be honest, I thought the Wolverine was going to take him out, though. AJ was wobbling after the second shot. I didn't think he'd see the final bell, but hey, he did. Props to uh, AJ for hanging in there. Let's take a look now at the list of our Power Slap champions, Damian DeBell, Wolverine, John Davis, and Christopher Thomas. John Davis coming back from that shoulder injury, and Damian DeBell had LASIK. Hopefully, hopefully those two guys will be back in 32 days for Power Slap 4. So after you get finished globe trotting for all the UFC stuff, you're gonna be back here again in 32 days. Power Slap 4, our fourth event of 2023 as per usual power slap three did not disappoint wolverine making a statement was the heavyweight champ now is the light heavyweight champ and certainly a star was born in terp daddy slim austin turpin from jacksonville an impressive performance from this young man as uh, his celebration is one to be remembered but look at that the crazy Hawaiian getting a win. We had super heavyweights on the card once again. The decision over his buddy that he went to high school with, and there is Wolverine for Michael Bisping, for Charlie Arnold, for our steam crew. I'm Dan Helley. Thanks for watching Power Slap 3, live and free on Rumble. We'll see you again in 32 days.